Welcome to WCDC 17 here in Buenos Aires, Argentina, where I've got the very great pleasure to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Andrus Ansip, who is Vice President of the European Commission. Mr. Ansip, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for inviting me. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about the theme of uh, this conference, WTDC 17, is ICTs for SDGs. In what concrete ways are countries in the European region integrating ICTs to attain sustainable development? We know that uh, the European Union is biggest uh, donator when talking about uh, the development aids. Uh, uh, when talking about uh, uh, just about EU budget, uh, then uh, uh, we invested uh, 32 billion years within the last five years into uh, development projects. Uh, when talking uh, um, also about member states, uh, then even 82 billion uh, years, uh, but a very small part, just 500 million years is going uh, into digital. And it's not enough. We know that uh, uh, those uh, uh, digital uh, solutions, uh, they can be really efficient uh, solutions, uh, uh, not only in developing countries, but also in uh, uh, the European Union. For example, just recently in Sweden, they uh, implemented the uh, e-procurement system, and according to them, uh, they were able to save even 20% uh, of uh, their uh, spendings. So. Uh, in some African countries, in uh, Asian countries, it's, it's really possible to make some miracles uh, with uh, uh, those investments into digital. In India, they gave uh, uh, digital identities to their citizens, and in this way, they were able to cut those uh, middlemen when paying uh, uh, state allowances to their citizens, and according to their ministers, they were able to save 8 billion US dollars a year. So huge amounts of money. Uh, we have to pay more attention on digital developments in African countries. Uh, uh, in the European Union, we decided already that uh, in every development project uh, there has to be also a digital component. We created a digital for development uh, uh, program. And uh, I myself, I would like to uh, support of those digital developments uh, in uh, also in African countries because digital public services, for example, they are always more efficient, uh, they are more transparent, not everybody will be happy, uh, corrupted people will be not so much happy about this, uh, and those uh, uh, digital public services, uh, they are always more inclusive. If people, they are more uh, better informed, uh, then uh, they would like to take part in the uh, uh, decision-making pro process also. So it's our moral duty to uh, uh, help African people, but uh, now we don't have just to help, but we have to cooperate because uh, in many areas, some African countries, uh, they are really highly developed, and uh, we can copy their experience, for example, in Europe. Talking about cooperation, collaboration, how best should ITU and the European Union work together, in your opinion? We are working closely together, and uh, when talking about dig di uh, digital developments, uh, then uh, uh, basis for uh, those developments is, of course, connectivity. For connectivity, uh, quite often, uh, we have to solve issues uh, connected with the spectrum and our uh, a major part in those issues is, of course, uh, ITU. And I would like to say our cooperation in this field uh, was uh, really successful. Now I'm looking for uh, to have deeper cooperation uh, when uh, trying to support digital development uh, in developing countries. Finally, very briefly, what do you hope will come from this conference? I hope uh, uh, more and more uh, people uh, will understand that it's not enough to provide uh, develop, uh, aid, development aid uh, uh, only to deal with uh, uh, survival issues, uh, uh, with uh, drinking water, uh, food, uh, roads, uh, democracy. Of course, uh, this is needed, but we have to invest also into digital in developing countries. Andrew Zanzip, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. You're welcome.